Prediction Destruction of God's Word and Scriptures Planned and commanded eradication of God's Word and teachings requires the intervention of God. Prayer Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall remain forever. And anyone who believes in this word will never ever die, for everything that belongs to me has eternal life. And yet you will have to struggle and fight for this word of mine. You are approaching a time which will demand utmost responsibility from you, you will have to demonstrate that you are living creations of the deity and not the children of evil. And if you produce this evidence you will be blessed for all times. My own will have to fight and must indeed very much defend themselves against the enemy, for all earthly powers will oppose that which came forth from the eternal deity and will not shy away from any means to achieve its complete annihilation. Yet even during the darkest night the light will shine for all those of you who hold on to my word, and you will be able to take the path without worry of going astray. And thus listen. Wherever the world intends to work against me that is where I prepare the counter-offensive, and this will make the earthly powers resolve waver, for it will suddenly behold the Lord's avenging hand in the sky. And this will only show itself after their regulations and laws attempt to utterly eradicate my teaching. Thus, when it is clearly recognizable that the teaching of Christ may no longer be offered to people. Only then will I intervene in order to safeguard my fighters who are working for me from the worst danger at the same time. So wait for this time calmly and confidently, when the need is greatest I will stand by your side with my help and will certainly know how to stop the host of my fighters from becoming dispersed or destroyed. Everything is subject to me, in heaven and on earth. Oh, what folly it is to oppose me! And if they don't believe in my might then it must be visibly proven to them. You should use your power on earth truly wisely for the glory of God and your own salvation of soul and not try to establish a kingdom on purely earthly desires and advantages which can only be described as a kingdom of Babel if you overestimate your own power and, with total lack of responsibility towards the divine creator, believe yourselves able to issue instructions which oppose the Lord's will. At the moment it is still left up to individual people to deal with this issue, which is decisive for eternity, in their hearts. But soon you will be given guidelines as to how you ought to be thinking, the world and its representatives will endeavor to curtail all knowledge about the teaching of Christ. It will be most strictly demanded that the still existing documents and scriptures must be handed in and people who won't let go of my word will suffer serious inner conflicts. And then I will remember them in their adversity. Anyone who wants to keep me in his heart will never be abandoned and earthly authorities will not be able to touch him, for my power is greater than theirs. The instigation of the world which concerns the total destruction of God's teaching will be recognizable both in its consequences as well as in its defeats, for at first I will allow it to happen in order to draw everyone's attention to it. Only when the effort is clearly identifiable, when no more doubts regarding the seriousness of such plans exist and when the distress of my own is greatest will I reveal myself and stretch out my hand in judgment against the deniers of my word, and when this hour has come you, who are faithful to me, will realize that you are visibly guided by the Father's hand. Regardless of what the world imposes on you, you should only ever look up to me and in firm trust of rescue from adversity look for my spirit, which will equip you with strength to resist and will never ever let you move towards ruin. In order to protect your soul from danger I will constantly work in the midst of you as a sign of my presence. Amen. Let the Heavenly Father's words gently end in a prayer which all of you should send up to him whenever you suffer adversities. 
Let your peace be with me. My dearest Heavenly Father. Give me strength to fight down here. And fortify my will. Grant me your grace at all times. Show me the right path to go. Let me always and without hesitation be of service in honor of you. And when I come upon difficulties let my faith grow even stronger. Hold on with your love to me. Your weak earthly child. Help me to find my savior through the flurry of the world. Protect and look after me. Always and forever. Amen.